Yo guys, it's Sam, and today I want to do a final speed test between iOS 11.4.1 here on the left and iOS 12.0 here on the right. And I want to see, in my last speed test, I found out that iOS 12 beta 1 was actually faster than the public release, the shipping version of iOS 11. A few months have gone by, we're now on iOS 11.4.1 and the iOS 12 GM. So is iOS 12 still faster? I want to test how fast the keyboard pops up, how fast you can swipe to access the camera from the lock screen, but also by launching a ton of apps and rebooting the devices to see which one starts up the quickest. So let's go ahead and start off first with a quick shutdown and power up test. I want to say that I think iOS 12 is going to be a lot faster, but let's go ahead and shut these down. It'll take just a second and I'm going to power these back on in three, two, one. All right, so that's interesting. The iOS 11 iPhone actually beat the iOS 12 iPhone. And before going any further, I want to show you these are the exact same device. It's just one iPhone 8 in gold and one iPhone 8 in product red. So the internals are identical. I did not rig this so that one wins. These are both iPhone 8s. They both have the A11 Bionic chip inside. Same screen, same camera. So let's go ahead and start off by launching some apps. First up is camera in three, two, one. Looks like iOS 12 finished just a hair ahead of iOS 11, but it definitely was not anything noticeable. Next up, let's go to clock in three, two, one. Again, they were pretty much the same there. I wouldn't say that there's any difference. Weather in three, two, one. And it looks like iOS 12 finished once again, just a hair ahead of iOS 11, but really that's nothing you're gonna notice day to day just yet. Let's do news in three, two, one. Now here it looks like iOS 11 finished a little bit ahead of iOS 12, but then again, they were also pretty close. Next up, let's go for stocks, three, two, one. And because it's a more lightweight app on iOS 11, I think it loaded it quicker. This has to load in news stories, which is the brand new stocks app in iOS 12. Definitely a bigger fan of the iOS 12 design, but definitely loaded faster here on iOS 11. So let's try the app store, three, two, one. Now that's interesting. It looks like Apple is testing different home pages of the App Store on iOS 12 or iOS 11, or they're trying to highlight different things. So these are actually two different top stories. But again, uh, pretty much the same here. I'm not noticing any major differences by any means. Uh, we already did settings, but let's try health in three, two, one. Did load a little bit faster here on iOS 12. However, looks like it had to load more in general over on iOS 11, so I couldn't call a decisive winner there. All right, so those are all the first party applications from Apple that I wanted to test. Let's try some third party apps from the App Store now, starting off with Amazon, three, two, one. Definitely loaded a bit faster on iOS 12, but just marginally, it wasn't a gigantic difference. The app icons are different, but I promise it's the same app. It's a Reddit client, three, two, one. And although it jumped ahead on iOS 11, it did finish a little bit faster on iOS 12. Over on the App Store now, pre-ordering the iPhone 10s. Three, two, one. And again, it was a little bit quicker here on iOS 12. It looks like iOS 12 is jumping ahead just a little bit in this test. Let's continue on with Cash. And actually, as soon as I said that, iOS 11 decided to uh, jump in first place again. eBay in three, two, one. Again, pretty much identical on both. We'll skip Goat and go to Instagram, three, two, one. Pretty much identical on both of these. Facebook, it looks like it loaded a little bit faster again on iOS 11, but it, again, a marginal change. Next up is Netflix, three, two, one. And it looks like it's pretty much identical on both. And everything loaded a little bit faster on iOS 11, but again, this is a different screen. Like it's showing similar content, but for some reason, the Netflix version I have on iOS 12 and the Netflix version I have on iOS 11 are almost two different versions of the app, which is weird. Like it's the same Netflix app, but I guess Netflix is testing some different interfaces. Let's try Spotify. I use Apple Music myself, but for all of you that use Spotify, does look like it will load a hair faster when you upgrade it to iOS 12, which is cool. Tweetbot, my favorite Twitter app. Maybe a little bit fast on iOS 12, but nothing ridiculous. Snapchat and WhatsApp I haven't signed into, but just loading something really simple. iOS 12 is a little bit quicker, and again, uh, pretty much the same on both of those. Finally, let's do Twitter and YouTube, three, two, one. And iOS 11, it definitely pulled ahead there. And finally, YouTube, three, two, one. 
All right, so a couple of takeaways here. It looks like when it comes to third-party apps, iOS 12 is generally faster than iOS 11, but that's not the case all the time or every time. It just most of the time, it looks like this iPhone with iOS 12 was a little bit faster than this iPhone with the final version of iOS 11, iOS 11.4.1. And when it comes to first-party applications, honestly, couldn't tell a big difference between either of these devices. Like They were roughly the same for things like camera, news, weather, especially simple apps like clock. But I do want to test two other things. On the iOS 12 site, Apple says that accessing the camera by swiping to it from the lock screen could be quicker. So let's try that three, two, one. And honestly, it was about the same. Let's try it one more time to see if there's a difference. Three, two, one. iOS 11 was a little bit faster. Uh, three, two, one. All right, again, iOS 11 actually pulled ahead there. And the last thing that I want to test before wrapping up the video is how fast the keyboard pops up on both iOS 11.4.1 and iOS 12. Apple says it could be faster on iOS 12, definitely more noticeable on an older device, but let's test it out in three, two, one. And yeah, you can notice right there, like the keyboard popping up absolutely without question was like a couple of frames quicker on iOS 12. So I think it's the small things that you're going to notice and appreciate with iOS 12. That is definitely the whole mantra of the update. No gigantic changes coming here, but if you are updating to iOS 12, rest assured it's not going to slow down at your iPhone. And that's the first time I can say that in a number of years for a new version of iOS on launch. All right, that's all for this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed it, or if you learned something new, of course, subscribe for more on iOS 12 and the iPhone at XS moving forward. For now, I've been Sam. Hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you soon.